love at Christmas, there's a song playing. It's a beautiful song, but you won't hear it if you listen closely.
folks hum along as they hear silver bells, like Christmas card seeds that unfold. No, they're still working. It's, it's a big project, but I just I just decided I need to leave. I wanted to be home with you and Gracie at Christmas. I was doing just fine until my artificial knee set off the whole security system. Lights, sirens, people here and towards me. You must have thought I had a machete in my pain heels. <laughs> hey, honey, have you seen Kaylee? I think that our connecting flight's going to work soon. She said something to me earlier. But my thing is, she's in the bathroom doing her makeup. Okay. Dude, check this out. They're charging four bucks for a bottle at this airport. How much are they charging at yours? Dude, Sam, that's a conspiracy. I made it through the worst of it. It was the pad down in the security line. Your father would have some bold words for that officer. It lands at 6.30. You and Grace will pick me up. Hey, how's it going? I'm not interested. That's fine, because I'm not selling anything. <laughs> That's my big sister. Friendly. Kaylee, I'm glad you're here. Our flight's about to board. I should still be I should still be home in time for us to still go to the Christmas Eve service together tonight. Any work for the boys? Oh, I, I know, sorry. Honey, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be boarding seats A1 through 30 room Ontario. Please have your boarding packs out and ready for the addition at the door. And as always, thank you to the Sky Skydive right down to the King of Christmas. Put up the tree, string up the lights. We bought all the gifts, we booked all the flights. It's that time of year we've been waiting for. Our bags are all packed and, and we're ready. ready.
excited about seeing your cousins? Yeah, you're gonna love Rudolph. Seriously? Yes, seriously. Well, stop. It's Christmas.
fourth time I could hear the music of Christmas crystal clear. That must have lost my Kenny. Seems so long ago now. I hear them sing joy to the world, but I feel so
hope they have enough sweetener at the coffee shop to make it as sweet as you want. I'll be right back. family this year. Um, my favorite part about it is that his mom loves to cook. So Steve and I just get to relax and enjoy all of her amazing food, like her orange rolls. She puts freshly grated orange peel like right between the layers. It's so amazing. I feel kind of bad sometimes. Don't feel bad. She's in heaven that grandma. Oh no, not yet. No, what I mean is she just likes having family at home for Christmas. Honey, you know if I could do something, I would do it. I did. I left him a message. What? Try. I can't hear you. You're breaking up. Try as I might, I can't seem to turn back the clock to when the melody of Christmas was crystal clear. All I get now is a whole lot of static. I just can't get a crystal clear no more. Coffee, anyone? But now I did hear that, loud and clear. Hey everyone, this is Caleb. He uh, gave me a hand when he realized I only had two. And the coffee shop was out of cotton holders. What's up? Well, thank you both. What is it about coffee that just makes you feel better? It's so majestic. Pardon me? Did I just hear you call coffee majestic? Yes. Totally majestic. You know, like beast. I could make it smell my college classes valid. Come think it. I probably didn't even make it through all my college classes valid. Then we get with just a bean from some good fantastic land. It's the only thing that makes me feel like I'm a man. It's my morning in a cup. It's my day to school on time. And it helps me stay up really late when I feel tired. It doesn't matter how you think the day may be. But when it gets inside of you, it will change your destiny. Coffee.
Look, you're used to the taste of your love. Can I try yours, Mom? Sure, honey. Watch this. Oh, wow, it tastes like pumpkin pie in a cup. <laughs> oh, well, like a duck does swim in circles. <laughs> so, young man, or dude, should I say, where might you be spending Christmas this year? No, uh, I'm snorkeling my, break, my way through the break. I'm going to the Bahamas with some of my best bros. You're not going home? Wow, if Blake or Kaylee told me they weren't coming home, I would have to have a few words with them. Uh, actually, I'd have to have more than a few words with them. My dad, he's a workaholic, so he probably wouldn't even be there. My little sister, she's annoying, and my mom, well, she saw into her church, though, so it's cool. Well, I suppose it's nice in the Bahamas this time of year, but wouldn't your parents prefer to have you at home? Uh, I should get to my gate. <laughs> I was going to give him some father and advice, but I'm not as good as that. It might be a little awkward, but I do know that there's probably going to be some pretty upset parents out there somewhere. Waiting for the phone to ring or the front door to open. Have they started boarding yet? Absolutely have they. Not yet. <laughs> okay, I lost track of time over at the gift shop. I couldn't hear any announcements from over there. It, it is difficult to hear over there. It looks like you've been doing some shopping, though. Yeah, it's a just in case gift. Nice. Are you from around here? No, I've been working on a project here with the team this past week, but I just decided I'd be home with my family tonight. And you got a ticket on this flight? Yeah, it's like my own little Christmas miracle right here at gate 34. And how do you attention at gate 34? Ladies and gentlemen, air traffic control is put on a longer related delay. We have had to force shut down one of our airways, so we'll take a little longer to find out how to we are very we apologize for any inconvenience. What were you saying about Christmas Miracle? Oh, I need another one, at least one. Well, I might have just the solution. Why do I have a feeling there's going to be joy, hope, and follow line? It is, after all, Christmas Eve, and nothing feels more like Christmas than something warm to drink and singing Christmas carols. And Already have a coffee. I'll take your coffee for you, Mom. Let's sing some of our favorites. Kaylee, pop up your earphones. We're gonna sing some Christmas carols.
Not much of a singer, huh? What? No she more singing to the carols. Yeah, I'm not exactly into Christmas. I know what you mean. I'm going to the fir trees. That's not what I mean. What do you mean? I mean, I really don't believe any of it. Seriously? You don't believe in Santa? I'm fine with Santa. It's Jesus I have a hard time with. Whoa. Are you serious? That's like the coolest story ever. I've heard since I was a little kid. God comes to earth as a baby to save us all. How awesome is that? It's a cute story. I just don't believe it anymore. I'm going to go get some coffee. I know the best place. It's super close. I'll show you. Wow, that was beautiful, you guys. Wasn't it? It's Hi, I'm Paige. Stacy. So you're the voice that's been delaying our flight tonight. Watch your tone. Yes, I'm sorry, that would be me. But I would much rather get you people on your way. If I'm delayed, you're delayed. The Christmas crowds do make it nice and problem. She said nice, why can't I say nice? <laughs> well, Carol certainly do bring back the memories. My wife would love this. She makes us sing around the kennels every year at Christmas time, whether we like it or not. But it probably won't happen this year, I'm guessing. Oh, the empty nest? Not really empty, but not really full either. Of course you'd hope it would be full at Christmas. Sounds like your kids might be a little older than our couple. I got one daughter in high school, another kid away at college. I guess every parenting stage has its own uh, challenges. Uh, excuse me, I need to get this. Stacy, do you have any children? Yes, I do. My daughter still wishes 10. Mm -hmm. Well, I bet you wish you could get rid of us so you could go spend some time with her. Oh, well, she's with her father this Christmas, so she's going to be me and my cat. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what I need. Maybe I need a cat. Uh, Miss Clara, you do not need a cat. Cats are evil. <laughs> what? It's an adjective. Like, I still don't know what an adjective is, but I can't say nice and I can't say evil. Like, what can I say? Stacy, I'm sorry. I'm sure your cat's very nice. Nice. <laughs> he is a little temperamental. See, temperamental is better than evil. Whatever it means the same thing. <laughs> not as half as temperamental as my own. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. You could get a puppy! Now that's an idea. I know something for the bulldog. Is that what you have in there? A bulldog? Yes, his name is Rudolph, and my grandma's gonna love him. This grandma just gets shivers just thinking about having a bulldog in her house. No thank you. Now, where will you be spending Christmas? Will be friends? No, they have their own families, but I am seeing my first service day at our church service. So that'll be exciting for me. Well, that is exciting. Yeah, I just wish Sylvie was here to, do, to be here with me, that's all. I'm sure she'll be so proud. Hey, you can forget for us right now. I can bring it up, Sophie. I'm good at pretending. <laughs> well, aren't she sweet? But I can't just sing in the middle of a drum roll. Why not? That would be fantastic. <laughs> I mean, you, you pretty much own this place, right? Hey, how awkward would it be just to break out a song in front of the gate? It's okay, you've been doing it all night. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I can do it all after practice. Yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Practice. practice. Here. <coughs> Thank you. 
let me get this straight. Your dad used to work at a church. Yes. Like a pastor. Sort of like that. And he left your mom for someone else? Pretty much. That's real serious. I'm sorry. So I guess your dad doesn't work at the church anymore? No, he works at the tech store. Just a normal job. And if he does go to church, he shouldn't. Why is that? Like the church needs one more hypocrite. I know, right? But then again, it's the sick and need a doctor. Are you preaching at me? Not trying to. So that's your real mom, right? Yes, she married Steve when I was 13. <laughs> so where are you going for Christmas? Steve's mom's house. She's not exactly my grandma, because we're not exactly related, but she loves me. I take whatever love I can get from my family. So where are you going? I'm snorkeling my way through the break of Louis Sanser and Santa. It's going to be awesome. Sounds like it. What do your parents think? About what? About you not coming home. I already told you, my dad works all the time, so he probably won't even be there. So I have two words for that. Don't know, don't care. Mm, I think that's sad. Didn't you say you were a Christian? Yeah, I was sad to do anything. Well, I've got very good going. Ladies and gentlemen, due to the good weather and for your own safety, all flights have been suspended until tomorrow morning. I keep telling myself it's going to be okay, but this 
for a long night of it. Merry Christmas. Yeah, rock on, pumpkin pie and a cup. <laughs> what were you saying about coffee's addictive properties? That we should open So beautiful wine. That's so weird. That guy looks just like my dad. Dad, where? Oh, it's not a spell. Can't even hear me. Caleb, what are you doing here? I thought you'd be on your way to the Bahamas by now. I was. Still am. I could fly at least out gate 36. What are you doing here? I've been here working on a project for a client all week. Well, you better talk to your client. It's not my client, it's your mom. Honey, Caleb's here right in front of me in this airport. Of course. Mom? Hi, Mom. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you, too. No, one of my connecting flights got canceled because of the snow. I'll head there tomorrow. Oh, Mom, please don't cry. Love you. I'll call you back. Bye. Why does she have to cry about everything? She's just been missing you, and I miss you, too. You? You're working on Christmas Eve. You're not even home. I know, you're right. And believe me, I don't like it either. Actually, today I left the project to tell the guys I need to be home with my family tonight. They're late than ever. Caleb, I'm sorry. I know I've been having to travel a lot with my job these past few years, and I know I've hurt you. I'm sorry. Will you please forgive me, please? <laughs> I don't know. I'd have to think about it. You'll have to think about it? Do you know how long I've waited for an apology from my dad, and you'll have to think about it? You know, you Christians are all the same. You say that God sent his son to the earth to forgive us, to restore our relationship with us. And you two, you can't even forgive each other. Are you calling me a hypocrite? Yes, I am. I don't want to be a hypocrite. I just want to be loved. I want you to hear me, see me, know me. I see you, son, and I hear you. The truth is, if I took this job, we're at the travel because it pays more. It's the only way we could afford your college tuition. Wait, college isn't cheap, you know. So, you've been working all this time for me? So I can go to college? Oh man, thank you so much. Now will you forgive me? Of course, but I'm the one who needs forgiveness. I forgive you, son. I love you.
plenty of room and enough food to feed an army. Miss Claire, by chance, how far away do you live from National Arts Baptist Church? Right around the corner from me. Well, maybe I'll come over to the Christmas Eve service tonight. We would love to. We can sit right on the front row and we can be your cheering section. Mom, please. Just in case what? Just in case we decide to come home for Christmas. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm gonna open it. What is it? You know, you no know good just bought me a bottle of water. Did you know there's a water at airport conspiracy? <laughs> Whoa, check this out. A bag of coffee. Majestic. You know me so well, Dad. Sure, and hey, don't feel like you have to come home for Christmas just because we ran into one another. But I do hope you'll come to Miss Claire's with us tonight. I think it'll be a hoot. Does one like it ducks when in circles? It's an adventure I don't want to miss. So, I was thinking, the bros are going to be in the Bahamas for a couple of weeks, and I was thinking, what well, if I came home with you guys and hung on the fan for a little bit and hung out to, or went to the Bahamas New Year's? That could work. Question is, can I borrow some of your frequent flyer miles? <laughs> yeah, I think I do have some I can spare. I should have expected God would do something special this Christmas. I thought you said that at your age, you learned not to expect too much. I did, but this year I learned to expect the unexpected. I never expected anyone to your house for Christmas, Miss Clara, and neither did Rudolph. Yes, now about that Rudolph. Oh, don't worry, he won't be much. He's just a stuffed animal. <laughs> Listen closely. Listen. 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 